Now, on the Democratic side, Clinton has won 10 states, including seven on Super Tuesday, and she now has 44 percent of the delegates she needs. Here's Nancy Cordes. Yesterday was one for the history books. Clinton's Super Tuesday wins were supersized. She beat Bernie Sanders by 59 points in Alabama, 43 points in Georgia, and about 30 points in both Virginia and Texas. In a memo today, her campaign manager noted that Clinton's delegate lead is now larger than any lead then Senator Obama had at any point in the 2008 primary. Clinton barely mentioned Sanders in her victory speech. Instead, she took on Trump. And we know we've got work to do, but that work, that work is not to make America great again. America never stopped being great. Sanders did win four states by double digits. In the Southwest, in Oklahoma last night, we won by 10 points. Today, his aides insisted he's still in the hunt and could pick up four more states in the next couple of weeks. The Clinton team argues in order to catch up, Senator Sanders doesn't just have to start winning a few states, but he needs to start winning everywhere and by large margins. And that won't be easy because right now Hillary Clinton is leading in the polls in Michigan, Ohio, Louisiana and Florida, four states that vote this month. Scott, she is celebrating her big victory here in New York City tonight with a star-studded fundraiser featuring Elton John and Katy Perry. Nancy Cordes, thanks.